Good morning. <clears throat> Sorry. Trying to decide if I want to make a video or finish my bagel. I guess I'll make a video. It's a half a bagel. I stole it from my son Denny's stuff. Yeah. Um. He steals mine. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, sometimes the boys will find my leftovers and stuff, and they'll devour them. It's kind of a family understanding. It's, you know, I don't know, free food. So, <clears throat> yeah, what did I get on my pajamas? I, um... Uh, I appreciate everybody worrying about me. Nonetheless, I am 65 years old and have made a ton of mistakes in my life. And I might make a ton more because, I don't know, we do crazy things sometimes. I mean, don't we? I mean, you know, and I think to myself, even the rich and famous aren't... They're not free of making poor decisions, some of them to their death. But you know what? It was their decision and their choice, whether it killed them or not. We all have choices, don't we? And uh, we have to decide what's important to us uh, for some of the rich and famous uh, Drugs and substances are more important than their family and their life. I mean, that's the long and short of it, isn't it? All the money in the world can't save you. So all the no money in the world can't save you either. Just because you're poorer or are going to end up poor doesn't mean you're going to end up any differently than some of the rich. I think I'm going to take a bite of that bagel. So if I make a decision that <coughs> might leave me like poor and destitute, I mean, I guess it's my decision. I don't know. Sometimes I never really chased the dollar. I, I never really wanted to. We were fortunate in that Dennis had done gold and silver buying toward the end of his life, and that's what would sustain us during his illness and, of course, selling the house and letting go of the cars, and I don't know. I, I'm going to have health problems no matter where I'm at. So is it better to have health problems in a little cubicle apartment and, um, or stuffed in Finn's room? Finn needs his room. And while I know things are fast changing with my kids and their business, um, for the better, Thank God. I don't expect them to change my life for me. I've helped them all their lives. I get it. And yeah, I'm sure they'd help me if I was in a, a jam, in a pinch. I need to blow my nose. The pollen has been so high. The pollen counts. Elm, maple, and juniper right now are the trees that are pollinating. I'll tell you, it's killing me. So anyway, um, yeah, no, um, someone said, I know there's a tiny home festival going on in St. Pete, and I, so I looked into it, you know. 20 bucks because I didn't buy a ticket early, and um, 
I don't know what's there. Tiny homes, and then they, I think they include uh, in their show uh, vans, buses, RVs, you know, anything small to live in. And then I, I went to their website, and United something or other. It's like U-T-H-O-A or A something. And, uh, yeah, they've got something going on in Tennessee, but it looks to me like it isn't done yet. Um, when I looked for rentals, it goes nowhere. And when I looked specifically for their Tennessee thing, um, what I found was uh, six to 8000 down. And then uh, I assume they expect you to buy a tiny house between the prices of thirty thousand and sixty thousand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when hell freezes over. Look, like Rachel said, Rachel's my daughter in Texas, my oldest. She said, "Mom, there are fifth wheels down here, completely remodeled." for $5,000. Nobody wants them. They're too big. They're too bulky. They're specialized in how you have to pull, you know, get up certain vehicles, certain weights. Not an easy thing. Um, yeah. So, so, and people are either looking for really big RVs or really small ones. So these in the middle ones are unwanted. And so we have a few ideas, but first I'm going to bite this bagel. So, you know, <clears throat> Rachel has issues and she has to plan for subsequent if, if she can't work anymore. I mean, she just has a lot of problems. She's only going to be 41 this August. And, um, boy, she's just gone through hell. Bad genes, heredity-wise, you know. So, um, <clears throat> she's like, you know, mom, I know the day's going to come when I'm not going to be able to do this. And that's why she's working so hard, you know, and uh, she says, I'm going to have to be able to live within my means and they're not very big means. You know? So, uh, I said, you know, we could have a lot more if we band together. Why don't we see if we could live together? So we were going to go together in a van in March, look around a little bit, you know, look around Texas. I'm going to miss the uh, convention with the ears and tails. I really wanted to help her with that one, but um, it's in February, and I don't think that van's going to be ready, and... Uh, yeah, I got to get that over to Curtis. I'm feeling better now as far as my fibro flare is concerned. Um, but boy, my neck and my back are stiff as a board. Uh, I tried to sleep without my um, cushy pad on top of my firm mat thing. And um, I don't think I should have done that. But... um. What the heck am I trying to say here? Another sip of coffee while I think about it. Right. <clears throat> so we could look around. And what Rachel really wants, she doesn't want a house. What she really wants is to find a piece of land and live in a camper on it until she could build what she wants. And what she wants is a Bali-style house. It's like mostly glass and it's small and it has little pond in front of it and it sounds really sweet I just want to live in a camper I mean that'd be fine I'll buy one of them fifth wheels and put it on the land and hook it up and home sweet home and I'd still have my regular van so I could travel see if you don't have a mortgage and you don't have a lot of big payments being poor you still can have a life you still can afford gas and insurance and a vehicle. That's kind of what I'd like. And, it, and her and I are talking about, you know, sharing expenses so that we can have more living for what we bring in. We don't want to live together permanently. It might have to be a temporary thing because she's 
between a rock and a hard place where she's living. And um, I said to her, hey, look, why don't we think about finding a uh, RV park where we could park a trailer for a while while we sort things out, you know, while we let prices drop. And um, she says, you know, that might be a really good idea. She says, you realize there's going to be fur everywhere. I'm like, oh, God. I said, well, maybe we could find a middle size camper, and this is just temporary, um, that has a bedroom so you could close the door. And it'd be a lot less fur in my living space or, um, you know, I could use the kitchen and the bathroom but sleep in the van or I, I don't know. You know, it really depends on what RV parks allow. And she says, but you want to travel? And I said, yeah. And l with that set up, I'll be able to. But then I'll also be able to have a place to come that has air conditioning for the summer if I find it's too hot maybe in Oregon or the top of Colorado or wherever I wanted to go. So, you know, the, the van is a catalyst for something greater, something bigger, something better. It's not the end-all be-all. It's just a stepping stone. That's it. She doesn't want to live in an apartment, my Rachel. I don't want to live in an apartment. I don't want to be in a tiny home park. I looked at the websites and what's going on, and it's like, that's just not for me. And once I start paying rent and utilities, I can kiss my van life goodbye. I can kiss traveling, exploring, looking, going, having any kind of life. I'll kiss it goodbye, and I don't want to do that. What I really want to do right now is just look around. I believe good things are going to come to me. I just believe that. And as far as my physical problems go, yeah, they're, they're many and they're tough. You know, today my neck is all stuck and I have to drive my defunct van. Um, Denny said uh, I can use his car, but his car is hecting up again too. And I'm like, I don't want to put that extra strain on your car. Let me put it on mine. I got AAA. If things go south, I, I really need to unload that truck and I might have to do it alone. Ow, bad neck and all. Oh, I needed that massage so bad, but I appreciate you caring and worrying about me. That's sweet. Either that or just thinking I'm a total idiot. Um, that's nice too. But um I I've lived that way before. For years, I was a roadie with my husband, three children, a ferret, a lovebird. What was the other thing? A hamster. Those kind of came and went because they don't live very long. Except for Oreo. He lived four years and then he got loose and got into the rat poison. And that was the end of him. Bless his little heart. He was our favorite. So, um, yeah, um... I just, I just want to see what's out there. Is that so horrible? I just want to see if I can get more living on less money. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I just got to try. And there'll be days when I'll be down and I'll be parked in a van in some parking lot or I might have to go to like a um, state park and camp so that, I don't know how I'm going to get a tent up, but um, 
Yeah. I might need like, you know, electricity or, uh, or just to be in one place for a few days while I try to recover. Is it going to be easy? No, not all the time. Is it easy now? No, a lot of the time now it's not easy. It's very hard because I'm here and I'm available. And so I do as much as I possibly can. And that can, uh, cause a fibro flare, you know, and sometimes a fibro flare comes when I'm not doing anything at all, you know, it just comes and I have to deal with it. And then there's my back issues and my arthritic hand problems and my wrists. <laughs> the list goes on and on and on. Yay. I can't stop living and you know just park my butt in front of a tv set do a craft i gotta tell you i it's really hard with with these hands to do anything it's uh i mean it's very sore when you start using an arthritic hand if you have arthritis uh, you know that's true um, I do a lot of dishes, probably not great. I do a lot of playing with Finn. <sighs> I sweep, I vacuum. Sometimes I garden a little bit. I'm sorry that some of you are just kind of like, ah, you know, I'm just like, I've been there, done that. Are you kidding me? I've been... Poor as dirt. I remember driving into shows with $40 in our pocket or a jar of change. And they want to, you know, charge you for parking as well as charging you for your spot. And it's like, uh, I got this jar of change. And I don't know. This is sticky. Today I have laundry, but first I have to unload the van. Ugh. And then, um, so I want to do my laundry. I want to go looking at uh, Walmart for some fleece, some warmer stuff, because I'm going to visit Bonnie next weekend. And it's cold up there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to need a hat and some mittens. And I do have a very old, oh, I gotta go to storage. I gotta get that and make sure that's washed up. I have an extremely old Nike jacket. It's uh, like down and foofy. And um, my husband picked them up for $5 each at the end of the season at outlets up in North Conway. The good old days, five bucks. And um, I still have it. The thing must be 20 years old. Really lasted. The only thing that's wrong with it is the collar had fleece on the inside and it's all balled up. Maybe I'll just cluck it. So, um, yeah, that's my plans today. And um, maybe I'll go to Burger King for lunch. I don't know. Or the Chinese. Store. Actually, I've got two Oriental meals from Healthy Choice. They're in the freezer. Also, I have Maggie's um, chicken pie, but it came out really dry. There's no gravy in it, and I don't like that. But I hate some anyway. I think she has leftover meatloaf in there, too, but I don't feel like that either. Maybe I'll just buy a watermelon. There's one of those in the fridge, but it wasn't very good. We should have put it out for the garbage. Uh, last night was gar uh, this Early this morning was garbage, so... Um, yeah, I'm just going to, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to get dressed and go on with my day and start to prep for that trip to uh, North Carolina. Yep. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, some of my plans, you know, I'm just kind of 
if I ever can get my van fixed. I mean, I know eventually it will be fixed. And Rachel's like, you know, Mom, whenever. Just don't, don't stress. So that's what I'm trying to do. Not stress. She said, I love the weather in Texas. Will I? I don't know. I've never really gotten to see Texas because Dennis was always just, to just drive through. There's nothing to see here. It's like, okay. Said that about Arkansas too. But I think I'm going to go see it anyway. Hmm. Rachel wants to see it too. So I think we're going to, you know, do that. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Just checking in with you and letting you know that I haven't completely lost my mind. I I do have a plan. I have a, a method to that plan. You know, if I had 200000 st stashed in the bank, I could fly to Texas and rent a car and do hotels and all the wonderful things that people with money can do. But I didn't have that okay when I sold everything I had 35,000 and I don't have that anymore um and it's to not let you know cause a ruckus I'm not telling you how much I do have left but it you know it's enough it's enough to do the things I need to do and maybe buy myself a little camper maybe buy myself a piece of land if Rachel and I go in and the prices drop better you know maybe get a distressed piece or whatever because there's a lot of foreclosures coming out already. A lot of foreclosures. Go to Zillow and look in your area that you want to look at. It's it's happening. It's, you know, before there were no foreclosures. I mean, you couldn't find anything like that. And now there's quite a few. So, and it's going to be more. And, uh, you know, people bought homes they shouldn't have bought. And they paid too much. And it needs too much work. And... They might have lost a job or got their hours cut or whatever the case may be, but it's 2008 again. Mm -hmm. So that's it, and I'm going to finish my bagel, and I'm going to pour myself more coffee because I'm crazy. And, uh, yeah, get ready for my day and move forward. Move it on. Bye.